Ja, for se på den side. For den her side. I think the solution should come from the society. Although we should accept that the politicians and media do have a great impact on the framing of problems. And in particular, I think the debate between the Danish People's Party and the other parties uh, is important in the sense that the People's Party only has the influence the other parties allow it to have. We should remember or keep in mind that the other parties have the majority of the parliament and if they so decide they could change the policy towards uh, migrants tomorrow. But it seems they accept that the People's Party will, will uh, define uh, what Danish policy should be about. Oh, great. Yeah. So, in other words, so you believe, the question I want to ask you now is this. Do you think the way in which the problem regarding Muslims uh, is debated in Denmark is a reflection of how little the Danes as such know about this religion because it is fair to say it is quite violent in this part of the world. Is it because of the ignorance or is it just because they are dead afraid of what they call Muslims? I think a lot of Danes are afraid or they worry about the impact of migration. It seems uh, that a lot of Danes think that uh, we have a lot more migrants than we actually have. Uh, and if they didn't worry, if they kept in mind that migrants are about three, four, five percent, and that basically uh, the violence in Denmark hasn't uh, risen significantly, and that uh, the presence of migrants do not constitute a threat to Danish life, uh, I think uh, worries would uh, be much less. And, uh, I think to a lot of Danes, uh, migrants are not a, a, an everyday problem because they don't meet them. They don't work at places where they meet migrants, uh, and they don't meet them at the football club. They hear about them from the politicians and the media. That's, that's a fantastic point. Now to go back to the uh, topic of the debate, it was to which extent you know the Muslims are a problem or an added value. Now what is your take? I don't know what an added value is. I think culture, culturally we are all added values. And if the music and new traditions, food, etc. Uh, come to add value to Denmark, it's, it's great. And I think in fact Danes started loving uh, Italian food and Spanish food at the time uh, migrants started coming to Denmark back in the 60s. Uh, when it comes to economic value, uh, added value, it's probably true to the extent that a lot of the migrants do jobs that Danes uh, traditionally didn't like to do. So it's right. rather of added value. And even more so now, when we're going to need more labor coming from outside. Okay, so last question I want to have for you on behalf of the Copenhagen Voice. Do you project someday in Denmark a prime minister that is must? I know. I think it could happen. It probably won't happen one of these first days. But one day it could happen. But, uh, you know, most Danish prime ministers have been from the same uh, small uh, Christian sort as well. We haven't had an, uh, I don't know what they're called, in, in uh, Danish prime minister. We haven't had a Jewish prime minister. We haven't had a Catholic prime minister. So we still need time to see Danes. <laughs> okay, uh, thank you so much, Anas Jericho. And uh, this is it on behalf of the Copenhagen Voice. It was Aziz Fal. Thank you.